Early in the legislative session, we expressed the hope the governor and the legislature would stop the fiscal shell game they have been playing and confront Iowa's financial problems honestly. It was a misguided hope. The game not only continued, it got worse. With the governor refusing to address the reality that Iowa is not raising enough revenue to meet basic needs, the legislature spent the entire session wrangling over finances. On the final day, it pasted together a $3.3 billion budget. It is based on revenue forecasts that likely are too optimistic. It cuts back on spending for the environment, education, and economic development. It does nothing about the deficit the state already has incurred when standard accounting practices are applied. And it will perpetuate the shoddy practice of not paying the state's bills on time. The state spending plan will put new strains on local governments, already struggling with costs for care of the mentally ill and handicapped, and will force a substantial increase in local property taxes. Who knows what else when the governor gets through tinkering with it with his item veto. Democratic legislative leaders say they will appoint a committee to conduct a thorough study of Iowa's tax structure. Such a study is badly needed. But it will be another futile exercise unless the political will in both parties is there to control spending growth and provide revenue that is adequate for real needs.